Maddie, always good to start off with a win, isn't it? Oh, fantastic to get that win. Uh, got pretty close there during the middle, but um, yeah, we've just shown our depth again with Emily Windsor, Paige Schofield and Charlie Dean showing what they can do once again and yeah, just shows the depth we've got in this squad. It's just fantastic to get the win again. And you must have been pleased you got another half century. Yeah, I need to get those three figures though. Um, yeah, we just said in the changing rooms I shouldn't have got out in that situation. It was a pretty soft dismissal, but um, yeah, I'll go away and learn from it and try and work on um, things for the next game. Is there things you were working on there? Because you seem to be pretty prepared to go aerial at times, didn't you? Yeah, I've had a chat with Charlotte Edwards in the week about the best way to go out there and play because sometimes I get a bit stuck of how what tempo to play at in ODI cricket because I think I play at my best when I'm going at the ball and trying to hit my areas if it's too full then hit it over the top of which is what I had in my mindset today um, anything too full got my hands through it hit my strength and just try to rotate strike and run really well and um, yeah George Adams started off really well again and Maya Boutier looked really good as well so lots of positives T14 didn't look that big a score. I know you won with 19 balls to spare, but it wasn't always plain sailing, was it? No, it was, I don't know, it was a bit of a weird wicket. I think there was something in it, just back of a length, but it did a bit of um, nippage. But yeah, we just tried to hit the bad ball and run really well and target certain bowlers. Um, and yeah, we got over the line with a few overs to spare, so great win. Now, what about you personally? Because you went to New Zealand, don't we? We spoke just before you went. I mean, how, how did you feel you did in New Zealand? And what do you think you're going to get out of these games? Um, yeah, I didn't score as many runs as I would like. Um, so it's just a matter of being clear now and scoring as many runs as I can for the Vipers and doing really well for the team. And um, yeah, just enjoying my time with the girls. I love it down here. This is my home ground so um, yeah it's amazing to be back and playing in front of a crowd which is a fantastic feeling I mean I'll never take it for granted again just being out there in the field and listening to the applause like really made a difference. You're one of the lucky ones though because you had a crowd in New Zealand when you played for England didn't you? Yeah true I actually played in a crowd a few months ago but um, yeah I think there was a Covid case in Auckland so we actually played without crowds in a few games so um, yeah, it's just great to have the fans back today and they were outstanding. Just finally, Danny, wh how does this sort of Vipers team compare to last year? Can it, can it do just as well? Yeah, I mean, every team's going to come out hard at us and they're going to want to beat us because we won it last year. So we've just got to bring our A game and everyone have their plans um, and just relax and enjoy everyone's company and enjoy being out there in the middle because, you know, when the weather's like this as well, it just makes it ten times better. So... Um, yeah, we're just going to take it each game as it comes and prepare well and see how we go.